Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk a bit about these Rega Ara speakers. The Aras came out in 1997 and they were made by Rega Research Limited out of England. Rega actually first became known for their turntables, with their first product being the Rega Planet, which was released in 1973. Their first speaker was a floor standard called the RTX, which was released in 1980. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo for this one. I have no idea what it looks like, and I couldn't find any information about it online. Their next speaker model was the famous Rega Ela, which was released in 1990. But their first stand mount speaker came out in 1993, and it was called the Rega Kite. Now, the Kite was the direct predecessor to the Rega Ara seen here. As mentioned earlier, the Ara came out in 97. Several revised models were subsequently released starting in 2004 with the Rega R1, followed in 2009 by the RS1. In 2015, Rega released the current RX1 model, which is a fairly drastic departure from the previous incarnations, from what I understand. Interestingly, as so many other decades-old audio companies have been doing of late, Rega has designed a throwback remake of an older model, the original Kite in this case. This retake on the Kite was released in 2021, and it's currently available alongside the RX1. Now, I haven't listened to all models, but I have heard the Ara, the R1, and the RS1, and I can tell you that their sound improvements from one model to the next are evolutionary, not revolutionary. I've read similar statements from others about the differences between the original Kites and the Aras as well. On the other hand, apparently the RX1 is a different animal altogether, but I have no first-hand experience with them at all, so I can't comment on that. So, what the Aras offer is a two-way ported design with a small, approximately 5-inch, paper cone mid-base driver and a 3-quarter inch soft dome tweeter. The drivers are housed in a box that has a height of 32 centimeters, a width of 17 centimeters, and a depth of 20 centimeters. And each speaker weighs in at 3.6 kilograms, which uh, is just under 8 pounds each. The speaker boxes are not shielded, if that matters to anyone at all anymore. The rear of the speaker houses a pretty standard pair of binding posts and sports a 45 millimeter or 1.75 inch port. Rega is proud of their driver and simple crossover and actively dissuades users from bi-wiring or bi-amping, calling it a pointless endeavor. The main driver is their famous RR125, made in-house by Rega, and it's the same one that's used in the aforementioned and highly regarded Rega ELA, the Mark 1.25 version onward, not the ELA Mark 1, uh, which used a ROID driver. The ARAs are easy to drive and can work well with budget gear. That said, they scale very well and can really shine when paired with higher-end gear. Now, as with most speakers, positioning is crucial in achieving the optimal performance. Too close to a wall, and the sound field collapses, and the bass is muddled. Moving them away from the wall to just the right degree, and towing them in, improves things a whole lot. When positioned correctly, away from the walls, they image like champs. Now, when I first brought them home and placed them on their 20-inch stands, I initially didn't think much of them. I thought the eras did not mate very well with my Sugden amplifier. Um, I did some minor repositioning of the speakers, but never moved them out into the room quite enough. As such, I wasn't particularly thrilled with these speakers right off the bat. It wasn't until later when I realized their true potential after pulling them out from the walls to about two and a half feet, measured from the wall to the front baffle, and with the speaker towed in to a degree. In the right spot, the Aras just came alive. Their paper cone woofer throws a lively, clear sonic image, offering a really great sense of timing, detail, space, and resolution, along with a punch that can be appreciated in a small room. They can sound a little bit lean, um, particularly in a medium to larger room, but you can flesh that out with the right amplification. While you can probably get away without one in a small room, when in a medium to large room, a subwoofer would definitely be recommended. Now, the treble can seem a bit hot, but that lends itself to the overall liveliness of the speaker. It's not harsh or too in-your-face, though, like some of the competitions can be. Vocals come through in an especially clear way, 
different than, but akin to the level of clarity one gets from the EPOS ES14, which I also own. It's leaner, of course, but with the same degree of focus and placement. When partnered with the right gear, these little speakers can really deliver. These speakers have bounce and boogie and can really get your toe tapping. No, they won't go very low in bass, but what is there is very accurate and punchy in a small room. Their mid-range is some of the better in the business as far as I'm concerned. They project a clearer presentation than my Royd Minstrels, uh, which I also love, and they're on par with the amazing Epos ES14, albeit at a much smaller scale. And although they don't go as low in bass as the excellent Royds, and certainly not the Epos, um, they are equally involving, again, given the right circumstances. Now, of course, there are a few caveats uh, with respect to these speakers, just like any other. You'll have to take some care in matching if you really want the best from them. They need to be pulled away from the walls to sound their best. So if you need something that is to be close to a wall, these speakers are probably not the best choice for you. Um, they do need a subwoofer for anything but the smallest room. And further, they're not designed to be played at extremely loud volumes, although they do play more than loudly enough for the average listener. The bottom line is this. The Rega Ara speakers are yet another example of great kit coming out of the UK. If you appreciate quality sound and a lively presentation, but have a relatively small space, these speakers might be the ones for you. The right amplifier and front end will reward you with invigoratingly lively, toe-tapping music. So that's all I've got for you on the Rega Ara speakers. As always, feel free to leave your comments below, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching everyone, bye for now.